Hello and welcome to my channel Haley Marie Vintage. Today will be a super fun and kind of different video for me. The reason I'm putting out on a Tuesday is it's more of a vlog style which is not my usual content but recently I went to a castle with Christina and I will link her channel down below. You have I'm sure seen her around this community. I am posting these videos separate. I will have one later down the line about this trip as well but I can't monetize any footage from inside the castle so to do that I'm going to put out two videos this week so this one cannot be monetized and show footage from the castle. We stayed there for two nights just a couple weekends ago and it was so fun and so delightful and we took some amazing photos. So I just kind of wanted to take you along with my little vlog. So yeah, before I jump to the footage, you're just going to basically see what it was like to like stay in the castle. And then uh, we also went to this really awesome vintage warehouse called Glenna's. Uh, I will link her Etsy shop down below. It was a truly amazing experience and so I hope you will enjoy all this footage. Let's jump in to right before I'm about to leave. All right, um, this is the clothes pile I'm bringing. I know most normal people are more organized than this and like lay their clothes nicely before they go, but I did not. Um, I have like some 70s dirndl. I think this is a 70s dirndl as well. I don't know why. Uh, 70s gunny sacks. Clearly I am in the 70s mood. And then I do have a couple of 50s dresses back here that I'm bringing and then tights, slips, things like that that you need. Um, so I'm going to cram this all in a duffel bag and shove it in there. And that's kind of my game plan for packing. And I'm also bringing my little steamer so I can fix all the problems I create by shoving things in a duffel bag. That's where we're at. Uh, I have my little curlies. I leave my curls like this for a while to dry if I have the time, which I do today. I'm getting very excited for this trip. I can't wait to go. I have about four hours before I start driving down. All right, I am about to head out. I'm saying bye to the spooky. Um, I always miss her a ton when I'm gone and leaving her is always very hard for me. And then over here I have what I'm bringing. It's not as much as it looks like. The duffel bag has my clothes in it. I have some fabric for Christina. And then I have a uh, bag of bags um, for like thrifting and stuff and just my backpack. Uh, so pretty straightforward. And then I'm also bringing my raincoat and my purse over here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna head out. All right, so we arrived at the castle. Bear with me on my footage skills. I am not a great walker and filmer. It is gonna be shaky and I'm so sorry. It's just, it is what it is. But as you see, the entrance is quite beautiful. Uh, this was the walk up to the front door past those lion statues. And then I wanted to film the little historic plaque designating this a historic place. This was built, I believe, somewhere in like 1910-ish. But the castle itself was imported from England and actually built in the 15th century. Here we are in the garden. I think it's the secret garden. It's Anna's, the original owner's wife's favorite garden. This used to be on, I believe, almost 40 acres of gardens, but now it is left to just three, which are really, really beautiful. Here's the view to the castle. You can see it is a Tudor mansion. It's not necessarily a castle. Sorry about my finger. Like I said, it's going to be rough here. This is not my skill set. I just thought this was so beautiful, this garden with all these statues. But yeah, the house itself is just so beautiful. And I loved these gardens. Nothing's in bloom. It's a little bit too early for that. But I'm sure these are stunning when they're in bloom. And then here I am on the back end of the house. This overlooks, it's called American Lake in Tacoma. And there's this little mermaid statue. Um, you can also see the lawnmower guy riding in. It's just super pretty. There's a really giant weeping willow here. Statue is fun. I didn't take any footage of the waterfront, but if I turned around, there are docks. And then here's just another angle of the house. We were just doing our first day kind of exploring. It is so, so beautiful. And here is Christina. Here's yet another view of the house. I just loved looking at this house and I hope you enjoy it too. I loved the little fountain out front and I just thought this was super cool. I like the like circular driveway. I've just never been somewhere so fancy. I don't stay in fancy places ever. So this is like pretty much one of the fanciest places I've ever stayed in. And so I was just filming and enjoying the space. And I think it's so cool. This is the only 15th century castle on the West Coast. So I just tried to really enjoy that um, and enjoy being there. And I'm going back in the entrance. These lions are really fun. Uh, they're definitely pretty modern, uh, but they are very pretty. Uh, and then we'll get into the interior of the house. 
And then here I am about to enter the house into the grand hall. Here is the grand hall. It is super cozy. This was actually broken up into apartments, so they actually had to restore it back into being a grand hall with all this beautiful wood paneling. The other thing you'll see, and I do focus on later, is there's a lot of really cool artwork in this castle, and they have taken a lot of time, like, antiquing to find a lot of pieces. There's not very many pieces in this house that are original to the house. And then in the windows, you'll see there are little bits of stained glass that are, I believe, like, saved from... It's like 15th century glass religious stuff that they also had come over with the castle itself. This room I absolutely loved. If you look at the ceilings, they're this beautiful pastel color. Me and Christina were talking about how we really wish we could figure out how to get like photos with the ceiling because the ceiling are super our aesthetics. But I absolutely loved this room. And we later ate both Taco Bell and teriyaki in this room, which felt slightly disrespectful. This is the grand staircase that goes up to the second floor. Again, lots of art. A lot of this art is relatively religious, which is not always my deal, but there are lots of really beautiful lady and landscaping paintings. And now I am taking you up the grand staircase through the house. I thought these paintings, these two here, were really, really beautiful, and I looked at them a lot. And then there was kind of this weird religious sculpture in the big main window. I kind of wish the window was just the window, but obviously this isn't decorated to my taste because I will never afford something like this in my life. And we are getting up to the main area. Christina and I were talking about how we really wish we had filmed our reactions because like literally going through this castle was so fun the first time and obviously we had been through it by the time we were filming these. But the wood paneling does go all the way up here. This is the second, like, very lavish floor. When you get to the third floor, a lot of times it's less lavish. Here is the library, which was absolutely beautiful. The mirror was super cool. Like, that's a mirror, not a doorway, just to be clear. There were a lot of big mirrors in this house. Uh, there's me waving in my little sweater. Uh, and I just love the windows in this house. They're so pretty. And then even though I personally don't organize my bookshelves by color, I do appreciate the aesthetic, even though I don't think you can find anything. Um, and there's Christina coming in um, and being very dramatic, clearly. Uh, we loved the study. Uh, the study had really good energy. Here's another mirror. There were a lot of mirrors in this place, um, which is kind of fun. And then this is just a hallway down to where other guests stay. There's nothing really that interesting down there. There's Christina again. And then here is, it's not the bridal suite, but it is where you can get ready if you're having a wedding on the estate. And I just thought this room was really, really beautiful. I thought the bed was beautiful. The view out the window was incredibly lovely. And the furniture in this place was just insane in the carving and the details. This was kind of a little ship themed room that was super cute. Uh, and as you can see, there was lots of hand sanitizer. But the big draw here to me was the bathroom. The bathroom was so pretty uh, with the emerald ceilings and kind of just this really beautiful, I don't know, there was just an aesthetic here that I really loved. And I did take a couple of photos in here. And again, a really beautiful mirror. Uh, this mirror is like driftwood and it's absolutely stunning. Um, I don't know. I just, I loved this bathroom. It was cool. This here is the hallway on the other side. There's another few rooms off of this. I believe I read that this castle has something like 54 rooms in it, uh, which checks out. I don't know how many of those are actually publicly accessible. A lot of them were obviously rooms other people were staying in, even though we only had one other couple in the castle the first night. Uh, there were other people staying in there, but it was definitely not full by any means. And then going up these stairs is where Christine and I stayed and I fell down these stairs and I have bruises to prove it, which is a bummer. I wanted to show you this painting though. I think this painting is absolutely stunning. I showed it to you way too quickly though. These were really steep and narrow, which is pretty typical for stairs going up to the third floor in houses. In houses this old, just because this was often the nursery in the servants' quarters. And down this hall, uh, this here, there is a movie room, and then on the other side, there's like a pool room. But down this hall of mirrors is where we stayed. Uh, we stayed in the gold room, which is the only room in the castle with two beds in it. These mirrors were absolutely beautiful, but kind of spooky to be passing late at night. Not gonna lie. Straight ahead is the bathroom, and to the right is the door of the room we stayed in. Uh, it also has this beautiful skylight, which is why there's so much light. All right, and I am working on unlocking this door. It was rough. I'm not a good door unlocker, um, but this here is where we stayed. This is called the Gold Room. It is floral themed. 
Uh, I was telling Christina I was amused because it's a lot of pansies and violets, which are a queer flower symbol, uh, which, so I just thought it was funny. Um, and this room is absolutely beautiful. And I was really happy to have a room with a view over the garden um, because the other side does have lake view, but I prefer garden view because there's not very many places that you can view a garden like this from your bedroom window as opposed to there's lots of places in Seattle you can view water. Um, or I guess Tacoma is where we're at. But these are our rooms. They're really cute. Um, I absolutely loved, I don't know, I loved staying here. I didn't want to leave. I just felt so, like, happy and peaceful here. And I loved, like, emerald saté, saté, the emerald saté, things like that. Like, I just thought this room was really, truly so beautiful, and I loved being in it. Uh, the beds were very tall, though. I will say that. I was scared of falling out of them. Uh, Christina is arranging her luggage, so it looks nice. I also loved all the lamps in this, which, like, sounds kind of silly, but the lamps were super pretty with, like, their fringe. I wish we still did fringed lamps um, because they're great. And then back down the Hall of Mirrors we go. I just thought the Hall of Mirrors was so cool. Like I said, a bit spooky at night, but very cool otherwise. Uh, and I am going down and across the hallway slash staircase to where the other room is. Again, the art in this place is just so cool. Um, I really like that flower painting we just passed in both of these lady paintings. Uh, and then they have a room called the sewing room, which I am kind of curious about. I'll have to look it up. Uh, but then this here is the Hall of Angels. I read the Hall of Angles, which it does have some pretty intense angles in it. So I stand by it could be the Hall of Angels or Angles. But in this case, there's all these uh, angel themed pieces of art uh, that are really I don't know. I find angels kind of creepy, actually, not going to lie. Um, and especially like these like fiery angels, uh, that were very cool, but also kind of spooky. Uh, and then they did have a prayer room, which I thought was really nice. Um, it very beautiful. And I liked the pink color. Then there were these like really steep stairs that obviously they had blocked off. These are dangerous. Uh, and I fell down the normal stairs, so I definitely didn't need to go down these. Here I am waking up in the morning. It didn't pick up on the footage, so I'm just voicing over, but it was really beautiful because you could hear all the fountains on the property. And then of course you have the overlook of the gardens and you could hear the birds. It was just so peaceful this morning and I really enjoyed it. And then here I am in the morning getting ready. We are going into Tacoma today. We were planning on vintage shopping a couple places, uh, but once we walked into Glenna's, that didn't happen. Um, I had made an appointment at Glenna's, uh, which is a by appointment only vintage shop in Tacoma. A uh, more accurate descriptor would be a vintage warehouse with a number of dresses in there. Uh, I have no idea what's coming when I'm getting ready this morning, and it's kind of delightful to look back and know what's coming. But yeah, I we had plans to kind of go to a different, couple different shops, thrift and whatever. Uh, and of course, we are getting ready and we are taking some photos and things in the gardens because there's not very many times you have the opportunity to take photos in such an empty, like beautiful garden. I only remembered to film one outfit while I was here, and it was this one, which I only wore for pictures in the morning. Uh, so I did a terrible job. I was trying to style vlog a little bit, uh, but I do love this dress. This is a gunny sacks I've had for a long time, and I felt like it was very beautiful here. All right, we are about to head out for the day. So we are leaving our beautiful castle to venture out into the world. So here we have arrived at Glenna's. I don't even know how to describe the size of this place. I would have loved to be filming Christina and I walking into this place because we were truly blown away by the amount of vintage in this room. And this is after we had passed through. I didn't get footage of it, but there's a front room with even more vintage in it that we were already like, wow, this is so much to look through. And then we opened the door and we're like, oh my God, there is so much vintage here. Uh, she has it categorized by what's in her Etsy store and then her back stock of different decades. I was looking around in here. Uh, I chose to focus in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, but there was really so much to look at in here. It was truly wild. I'll have to come back if I ever need a specific color slip. I will definitely be back. It was so pretty. I don't even know how to, I just, I don't know how to describe this place. Uh, these were all coats. And I would like to note that those plastic bags that you're seeing, sometimes there's five or six bags in one of those dresses. So there's truly a crazy amount of dresses here. 
And then over here, I am on her like purse section, uh, where as you can see, there's just a wild amount of purses. On the other side, I believe you can see wedding dresses, which are also very cool. Um, these ones are individually, I believe, put in bags. Uh, but I, I can't believe I walked out of here with no purses, but spoiler, I guess I did not buy a purse, although it was very tempting. And yeah, so many wedding dresses. I just, I don't know how to describe this place. It was absolutely amazing. I just, it was wild, truly wild. Um, I've never seen so much vintage and I think I've actually like dreamt about this place before. I've even been here. I don't know. Uh, it just is wild. Um, and the lighting was also very nice in here. Uh, Christina's FaceTiming her family. I FaceTimed my mom cause I like had to tell her where I was because it was truly so wild. And then over in this corner, you can see where she does her photos for her Etsy shop. I will be linking that Etsy shop. Definitely check it out. It is super cool. Uh, and then these are, yeah, just racks and racks. Um, and like I said, a lot of these racks, the black bags that you're seeing have like five dresses in it, not just like one or two. So yeah, this was really, really something. Oh my God, I missed a whole row of 70s. Uh, but yeah, so right now we're going down the 70s aisle. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to show you like how much stuff is here. I, I don't even no ballpark how many dresses are here but it's a pretty crazy amount it was so cool to like look here and look through all the racks and it was also just inspiring and glenna was so lovely and she let us try on things and yeah i just like i don't know this was just such an inspiring and cool place and i will absolutely be back here it is only about an hour and a half drive from my house so it's not even that far and it is a magical, wonderful vintage wonderland. Um, so I hope you enjoy seeing all of this with me and me dragging my camera along. Uh, those were all her sweaters. At some point, I needed to look through those, but I never got to it. It was just so hard. You kind of had to strategize what you were going to look at because there was so much to look at. Uh, but yeah, it was, I don't know. I just like smile thinking about being in here. This is a Shaheen. Um, I don't know. It was just so cool. All right, I have shopped the racks. I've only done the 40s, the 50s, and the 70s, and these are all my pulls. Uh, one of these piles is Christina. However, I did pull a lot of dresses to try on, and I didn't even get around to trying on all of them. Uh, there were also some in that rack back there that I wanted to try on, but yeah, I didn't get anywhere near to trying on all of them because trying on clothes is exhausting, and I couldn't really do, I guess, as many as I thought I could. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I just like, this was just so crazy. I still just like, I'm sitting here as I'm recording this voiceover, like smiling while thinking about this place. All right, here we will jump into hyper speed mode. I am just trying to organize all of the things I picked up because I picked up so many and I was just trying to get like everything hung so I could just like look at it. I grabbed things, like I said, I think the earliest thing I grabbed was 1910s and then all the way through the 70s. Um, I only picked up one piece from the 60s because the 60s, while I do love it, I don't love it as much as I love everything else. And you had to prioritize in this warehouse. There was no uh, getting to look at every single thing. So I feel like I pulled things very much in my two color schemes, which are pink and blue. And then now, once I get everything organized, we're going to hop into kind of an fun 80s fashion trying on montage because I just felt like I have to do that.
I did want to walk you through a couple dresses from this montage. This I thought was absolutely gorgeous. It was a 50s piece in beaded and I really liked how like sheer it was and the stripes and then the beading on this was just absolutely exquisite. I thought it was so amazing. And then of course there's the 70s uh, gunny sacks. I did not pick this one up because it is so simple, but it was absolutely beautiful. It also didn't fit me the best, but 10 out of 10 for swirl factor. And then this one here is a swirl dress, which is a wrap style dress, I believe from the 50s. It was really cute. It was definitely too big on me, but I wanted to show it anyway. And then this guy here is a beautiful 1910s type of dress. It was blue, which you don't see that often, a very lovely light blue. And then it had these little pom-poms hanging. It was so gorgeous. And then this one I just thought was fun. This was an 80s taffeta number. It kind of was Sleepy Hollow-esque. And so I just wanted to show it to you longer because it really made me feel like fun and beautiful as you can see by my twirling. And then this one here was absolutely beautiful. I loved the flowers. I actually really loved the color, which is not my usual color. However, it was also made with like fully interfaced skirts. So the skirts are really stiff, which is really beautiful, but not quite my thing. However, it's stunning. Um, and then this guy here uh, just was kind of wedding dressy, but I really loved. It has some maroon ribbon woven throughout. That just made me feel pretty. And again, swish factor, 10 out of 10. And then here I am, I'm in her office slash hat room. I just wanted to show you all the pretty hats while I spew some different facts at you. So Glenna has both an Instagram and an Etsy and I will link that down below. Definitely check her out. She is a wonderful person and I love spending our afternoon with her. I am going to show a haul from Glenna's on Friday. So stay tuned for that video if you wanna see what I took home from my fashion montage. For now, just enjoy her hat room. I only bought three hats, which I feel was like was an accomplishment given how many hats there were in this room. So I'm proud of myself and I'm so excited to show you what I got. All right, waking up for the final morning at the castle. Look at how beautiful our window is. I adored staying here. I also liked the like old school way to open these. Uh, look at the garden here. I wanted to show it to you without the glass. Uh, but there's sun, it's so beautiful, and the birds are chirping, and you can hear the fountains flowing, and I just felt so at peace here. This is probably the first time I've ever wanted to not leave a vacation. I could have lived in this castle if I was rich enough. Um, it's just has really wonderful, peaceful vibes, and I just had so much joy here, and I adored this garden, and this view on this garden in the morning just made me really happy. Checkout time was 11, so we had plenty of time to enjoy the lake, which you can see right there. There's also a fun elk statue, so we enjoyed the sunshine, and we definitely continued to take some photos because it was just so beautiful and so easy, and we just really took it slow this morning, and it was so nice. And then here I wanted to show uh, some behind the scenes of Christina setting up her tripod, uh, it is a lot of work to get the type of photos that we do and both of us are used to taking photos by yourself So we're used to using tripods and remotes and self timers and things like that So I just thought it would be fun to show you this and my tranquil peaceful morning All right, one last walk around the grand ballroom Wish I could just be here all the time um, But luckily I don't live too far so I can come again and I would highly recommend checking out Thornwood Castle if you're ever in the Seattle Tacoma area. It was so fun and they have a really cool history. I will link them down below as well in case you want to check them out. But it was truly such a special and wonderful weekend. And I feel so glad to have gotten to come out here and spend time with Christina and go to the Vintage Warehouse with Glenna and it was just it was just truly amazing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different from me. This was such a really fun and beautiful and peaceful weekend. Well, I make lots of jokes about the castle being haunted. It truly had this really beautiful, peaceful energy. I didn't want to leave, which this is the first time I feel like I've gone somewhere and not wanted to leave when it's over. Like I wanted to live there and it was just beautiful. And Christina is so lovely and I enjoyed getting to meet her in real life. We've been talking for a little bit less than a year at this point. So it was fun, especially since we live so close to each other. We're just about four hours away from each other. So it was really fun and I highly recommend meeting up with your internet friends. I've done it a bunch and it's always given me a ton of joy. Uh, this community just overall gives me a ton of joy. So 
yeah, I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's a little bit different than my usual videos. And I will have that haul, like I mentioned, coming on Friday this week, so you'll see everything I got from Glenna. She's such an awesome woman, and I highly recommend purchasing from her. She has a great love and passion for vintage. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of all I have for today's video, and I will see you Friday with that haul. Bye!